Hi, it's John at Brotherton Accountants and Accountscom. Um, I just want to do a very quick video on how you can add some codes into Xero, so some new nominal codes where you can post different expenses to. So sometimes we find that the generic um, chart of accounts on Xero is fine for a lot of people, but you know some people want specifics, and it's really easy to add them in. Uh, which we do add in for clients, but we also show them how to do it as well. So, because it's so simple when, when you've been shown how to do it. So, to do it, what you would do, uh, you'd go to your accounting, and then this is your chart of accounts, which is basically where all your codes live within the system. So, what you're posting to. So, for instance, there we've got sales is 200. So, this is the standard default settings for zero. And if you drag it in from other softwares, it, it may be slightly different or completely different, but you know, this is the generic. So here we've got purchases, cost of goods, you know, you can go down and this is what you're posting to. So you're using this nominal structure, which is what people talk about um, for adding things in. So, you know, bank fees there, 404, advertising 400, direct expenses, you know, so there's a, there's a lot of information in here. So there's our motor expenses, which is 449. So if we wanted to add, so for instance, if we were adding, say, parking, and we wanted that as a separate nominal, and we didn't want to just post it to motor expenses, what I would suggest you do is, like I say, go into accounting, chart of accounts, and then your starting point would be just to go and have a, have a look. This is how my preference, so you don't have to do it like this, but this is my preference. I would go down and have a look and see exactly um you know have a look for a nominal code that is similar to what we're adding so if we're adding parking we we could have it sat next to motor vehicle expenses so there we've got 449 now the next code in the system that's being used is 457 so you've got 449 to 45 sorry 4 uh, 450 to 456 which isn't being used within the system so we could add 450 so effectively if we're saying we're adding parking we go back to the top add an account what type of account do we want to use now if we're adding an overhead we can add an call it an, it's an expense so you've got in here you've got different types of accounts so current assets fixed assets inventory equity now when you're adding codes the probably the the, the three that you're going to be adding is revenue if you want to add in an extra sales nominal you're going to be adding in a direct cost if it's part of your um, direct costs so things like purchases which which affect your gross profit and then the others are going to be overheads which if in the system it's down as expense an expense account so usually it's going to be either a direct cost or an expense account that you're adding in usually so what we're saying is what type of account are we adding in it's going to be an expense so you just type an E in and then you can click on expense what code do you want to do now if we put 449 and we're saying we want to attach it it's warning us it's saying motor vehicles you can't use that because it's already been used by motor uh, vehicle expenses if we go to 450 it'll be green because it'll tell us yeah that's available so in there now we can add parking what i usually do is copy that as well into the description and then we've got to make a decision whether it's parking at 20% or zero rated. I usually would park in a lot of the big car parks there. Usually there's vats usually on them. Not always, but um, so you would probably leave it like that and then amend it accordingly. If if you're not VAT registered, obviously you would just change it to no VAT. Um, but we'll leave it on that for now. I mean, you can give the office a call if you want to chat over you know the structure of your VAT within the systems um, so if we go save there so that's now added that code so if we go down to 450 we've now got parking within the system it's down as, down as an expense and it's got 20% VAT on it so if we were raising a bill now and we, it's a parking receipt you know i mean obviously there's quicker ways of getting your bills into the system of i.e with hub docs or or decks which we've done videos on but just just quickly i'll just manually enter it so the account we're using now a lot of people just put it to 449 but now we've got our specific parking nominal you can put it in there now if you know the code you can just type in 450 but it also picks up the typing as well so you can just 
type in there, start typing part and then it'll pick it up. And then if it's a receipt that hasn't got VAT on it, you would just change it to either no VAT or, you know, so depending what, what you know, what the receipt is that you're looking at. Okay, so that's, that's one. I'll just do another couple. So if we go there, chart of accounts, add them. So, you know, if, we, if we're saying what we want to add um, subsistence, for instance, you know, it could go in at 451. So we can go add a, add an account. What do we want to add? An expense. 450 is used, like I say, it'll warn us. So we can put 451. That's available. What are we going to call it? It's subsistence. Copy, paste. Um, again, there might be VAT on it. There might not. I mean, I'd, with that, we'll leave it. We'll leave it on that for now. This is something that can be changed as you're entering the invoice. So if we go there, save. That's added that into the system now. Now, if you when you're adding an account, if you're not sure where it's going, this is quite good. This shows us the structure. So we've got revenue is sales. And then your direct costs uh, go in there. So effectively that affects your gross profit. So a direct cost is anything that reduces your gross, effectively amends your gross profit. So anything linked to your sales. And then your overheads and expenses are down here. So that, that gives you, which affects your net profit. So if we were adding a direct cost in, what we would, so say we were adding in, we've got purchases there. Say we were, we've got a garage and we were adding garage per consumables, for instance, we could go add an account. What type of account is it? A direct cost. So you click on there. And then down here, we've got 300 being used. Look, so we can go 301. If we put 300 in, it'll warn us that it's not available. 301 will be available. Now we could put in here garage. Garage consumables. Copy in our description. If we're VAT registered, we'll leave it on that. And then that's in the system now. Okay, as a direct cost. So again, if we're adding in a bill, you know, within here, we've got our garage consumables now. If you're using something like DEX, what you need to do, and I've done another video on this, you need to uh, drag all the new codes that you've added into your DEX. So it's dead easy. I mean, you just log into your DEX and then you go to integration and then click on update lists and it'll, it'll update it for you. But you know, you may be trying to allocate, say you've added parking and you're trying to allocate parking in your DEX and it's not there, even though you've added it in your zero, you just need to link the new codes to your decks. But like I said, I've done another video on that, so you can have a search for that, and uh, just it's very easy to add them in. Okay, hopefully that's been useful anyway, and uh, any questions, feel free to call the offices, and uh, hopefully see you soon. Okay, thanks, bye.